So uh, Steve actually goes back a long way with Mathematica. Believe it or not, it is 15 years ago to the day today that he came to our press conference to help us introduce Mathematica version 1 to the world. And not only that, today we are introducing Mathematica version 5 for the G5. Um, in those 15 years, uh, Mathematica has become pretty much the, the, the de facto standard language for doing mathematics in fields from physics to finance to fundamental biology. Um, but in version 5, we're introducing features to allow you to do sort of very large scale numerical problems, things like solving a system of linear equations with a million unknowns. And that, that happens to be <laughs> exactly the kind of thing that the G5 is especially good at, the kind of thing you could really use it for. So we have a little demo here. Hey, Dale. Um, Do I have to be the PC again? Sorry. <laughs> so let's see, are we ready? Three, okay. two, one, go. Okay, so this is kind of a little sort of little simulated real world situation. We have it doing on the one hand very large integer calculations like you might do for cryptography, for example. On the other hand, doing some really large numerical matrix operations like you might use in signal processing or image analysis or things like that. Of course, we're using it to make some pretty pictures. Um, and, uh, you know, it's going, I don't know, what, twice, two and a half times? It's, it's going quite a bit faster. Um, and, you know, often it, for this kind of thing, it's really not really a question of whether you could do this with a computer. It's whether you could do it for, before breakfast. Because, you know, I had to try a lot of different examples and figure out some parameters and things. And, you know, the kids are going to wake up. I have to get on a plane, go to California, give a demo. Um, you, you often have these kind of deadlines where you need an answer today, not sometime next week. You don't have time to write a Fortran program and optimize it. You want to use a high-level, abstract, symbolic computational system, a language like Mathematica, where it'll just give you the answer. You want to use six gigabytes of memory? Fine. Don't bother me with the details. I want the answer. Um, we tried to come up with a demo where we'd actually show you the six gigabyte capacity, but we couldn't figure out any that wouldn't just destroy the PC. And, you know, <laughs> it, it was thrashing for a week. It'd screw up the next demo. It's just not good. Um, as you can see from the animation that the, that the Mac is now completed and has been done for a few moments, uh, it's 40 steps of, of the fractal, and the, the PC is now just breaking over 20. So without breaking yeah. a sweat, the, the Mac has just done twice so, uh, the, the, the competition for this machine is not PCs anymore, basically. For our customers, the competition is high-end Unix workstations that cost twice as much. It's faster than all of them, too. Um, it's, it's sort of... <clears throat> This, this is really the dream machine. It's got you know, the Unix operating system that you need for anybody who's using Mathematica, who should be using Mathematica. You know, you've got Unix, you've got all the desktop applications you want. You've got the beautiful Windows system. It's incredibly fast. It's got a spare processor, you know, if you want to leave Microsoft Word running or something like that. Um, <laughs> and so this is where we've come in 15 years of partnership with uh, Steve, and I don't know where we're going to be in 15 years, but I know there's going to be a version of Mathematica. It's going to be running on some kind of, you know, nanotube Mac, and uh, <laughs> maybe Steve and I will be shuffling around here to show it to you. Um, I, hope, I hope you all be here to see it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Teo. Next up is our own eMagic. Some of the most popular music creation software on the planet. And it's my pleasure to bring up Gerhard Lengeling, who is the co-founder of eMagic. Good morning, Gerhard. Hey. 